Hello everybody, and welcome back to Middle-Earth. I am Raven Shadow, recording in early November, when I probably ought to be writing. But there are just so many things I want to do for the channel, and it's Sunday, why am I gonna waste a Sunday for recording? So, with that in mind, let's divide and conquer. Get ready for fighting! It occurred to me... Get ready for fighting! After editing the last video... That this is a little bit silly. We're standing on the bridge because we want the elves to attack us, but we have a full stack army. Why would they attack a full stack army? I wouldn't do that on a bridge. I'm just, I'm relying on the AI to do something so stupid I wouldn't do it. So, what we're gonna do. Listen up! Orcs! Get ready for fighting! So, we're gonna send some of this stuff. Come on! Regroup, you louts! To reinforce Captain Lunlag, whose army would otherwise be full of nothing but infantry. Let's see, is there anything else? Maybe we can send him... Orcs! sleeping here! The rest of the popcorn? We'll keep the cell swords as our front line. But we will bring in... Get ready for fighting. One more ballista. Come on. I have also decided on a doctrinal shift for the campaign. We are no longer going to recruit Snow Orc Scouts. We're already not recruiting Snow Orc Spears or Snow Orc Raiders, except near the front lines. Here in Bursakul and Mount Gundabad, we're already not recruiting our lower tier infantry. Uh, <clears throat> but starting now, I'm gonna plan on not recruiting it anywhere. Ever, except if there should be a great need. And I'm adding Snow Orc Scouts to that list. Because as nice as our archers are, our real strength as a faction is our infantry. It's the Pale Uruks, and the Orc Avengers, and Bolg's Champions, and the Trolls. So we're gonna focus a little more on infantry and siege and cavalry, and archers are going to become a little more tertiary, despite having the best orcish ones in Middle-earth. You probably already knew that because most of you have probably played Divide and Conquer a lot more than I have. Also, I moved this spy already, hope you don't mind. That's a big fucking garrison. I'm pretty sure it's the Veilsman's last settlement, but it's gonna be a tough nut to crack. Ready. This way. Stay right there. Be gone. Right where I left you. Okay, let's get things moving. I was just wondering if maybe I should sally against you. Good start so far. Scrunch. Can we reach them before they put the ladders up? Probably not. Nope. Not quite. Yeah, by all means, climb into that. Battering down the gates. Bye bye. Meanwhile, this is also going on. I love it when the ladders fall down. Means we're doing something right. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. 
Here we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's end it here. Honestly, somewhat more costly than I thought it would be. I'll take it though. Die. Eh, come on in. Well, aren't you far from your settlement? Faction Air. Pull back! We must pull back! Good, he didn't chase us further. Hey! Okay! Alrighty! Perfect! Faction Leader. This was exactly what I wanted. Granted, that doesn't mean I'll necessarily win. After all, I'm kind of notorious for underestimating my enemies.
the problem with this situation is that it's going to be very difficult to use our cavalry until we've lost our infantry. Hopefully by then we will have used up all our ammunition, though. Okay, let's see if we can start using our cav. Boom! Nice. Okay, out of ammo, most of it well spent, very good. Now, if this is in fact what you like, then by all means continue to hand us victory by the bell. I definitely won't take advantage of it. Nice. Smash the enemy! Come on, come on. Well, if you insist. Oh, you fuckers. There we go. Lame. Very good. Uh, <laughs> I see, I see. It's just artillery inside. Well, as long as that doesn't want to come out here, this battle's moot. But once the timer runs out, that should theoretically be a victory for us.
and it's possible that the garrison had to win in order to survive, which would mean that it will die and we can take the city. Alternatively, it's probably just the artillery that's left in there, which means that as long as no other dwarven army shows up in the nick of time, we can just walk in as soon as it's our turn again. You boys did a very good job. In fact, we've killed 89% of that army, so there's another reason why it might die. We killed their king and we killed 89% of them. They might just give up the ghost. The day comes to an end. There is nothing else we can do at this hour. Ah, a draw. I most assuredly will accept that. Die. Hey, what I tell ya? Oh, that's not a terribly large population. I think we can occupy it. Defend the camp. Aha! <laughs> Excellent. Still terrifying, but I think we can do it. What the fuck? Okay. I just, I, I don't... This does not give me the impression that as much work was put into this battle map as was into some other... Look, this rock is floating. Not in the water, but in the air. Oh my god, this is very bad. Now then, <clears throat> come into the water, please. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Boom. Well, he went down easy. He was a captain, of course he did. Uh huh, you guys are just kind of standing here. Ah, now you come forward. Alright then, get in the water.
w was that? Oh shit! Oh, oh come on! I mean, yes, I did put him up against elves, but seriously? Okay, that was theirs. Another captain, really? What the fuck? in our favor. Victory will be ours. Ah, <sighs> fuck off, elves. Shagluk will be missed. 4,000 worth of ransom. Fuck off. Please. Urkubal. Listen up. Yes. He's not as good as the other guy was, but he'll do. Ah. The Hall of Morgoth is complete. Which means we can finally get Orc Avengers here. I'll rip off your head and spit on your neck. Why are you still able to besiege us? Wow, that was a mistake. Ready. Keep going. I really must thank you for leaving it so empty. Listen up. Are you shitting me? No sleeping here, my lord. Get ready for fighting! Get ready for fighting! Regroup, you louts! Kill them all! Destroy them! Orcs! Pick your feet up! Get ready for fighting! Come on! We have to- No sleeping here! Kill them all! Okay, let's do the thing. Uh, probably another situation where I should have auto-resolved, but not as drastic this time. Yeah, the, the wow, those towers sure are towers. Okay, somebody hit the gate, please. There. Okay, that's done. Yeah. Just like that. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Hey, no, 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 no javelins, please. Thank you. Only half the enemy force remains. What did I just say? Oh man, these guys are gonna absolutely shred our trolls. I hate it when they do that.
continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Our men are in command of the city. We've lost control of the city. Our men no longer command the city. Our men are in command of the city. Could you please get off a charge? Oh, uh, hey! We got the main guy. Our men no longer command the city. Our men have taken control of the city. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Men are in command of the city. That time it worked. There. <sighs> and we did get some trolls back. Would have preferred to get all of them, but I'll take how many we did. <sighs> yes, again. Go ahead and sack it. There we go. And we also completed a mission. Burning post. Executioner. Okie dokie. And that should be the last time we ever have to worry about the Anduin Vale. Except, of course, for... Beowent. It will be an honor defeating you. But his bodyguard are sellswords now. Yes, we will have to deal with him. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. It will be an honor defeating you. And also with Haldir, eventually. Sooner now, probably, because we... We don't have to worry about the Bjornings anymore. We don't have to worry about that faction. Get ready for fighting. Kill them all. Destroy them. <laughs> Speaking of Haldir. Ah. That is a lot of troops to lose on an auto resolve, but whatever, it saved me spoons. Oh boy, Limhir is huge. <laughs> How fun! Listen up. Pick your feet up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, I don't think we really can auto resolve this one. But that could be considered for the better, because when we auto-resolve, we waste a shit ton of troops. So, can we do the thing? Huh, apparently we can, at least somewhat. 
when we're not totally missing. Oh, you, all you've got now is cows. There we go. I love it when this works. Boom! Hell yes. Okay, got one. Good, good, good. is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. <laughs> okay, got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best situation for Ants, worst for Lorian Scouts. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Hey, we got the last Ent, though. Command of the city. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. <sighs> good, 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 good. Sack. Okay, so now that's done. We've got like two settlements left to take from them. Come on. Uh, 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 Manwe, what are you doing alone in there? You know what we do. No, I was actually looking for we besieged them with a single unit of cavalry or a, or a pair of units of cavalry. But those are also good answers. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Come on. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. Pick your feet up. Oh. Come and get me. Oh, coward. Oh, hi there. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Uh done. We destroyed the enemy. Yes. Ab some motherfucking loot me. No sleeping here. Pick your feet up. Ooh. That's a lot of elves. Pick your feet up. Sleeping here. At your service. <laughs> At once. Without question, my lord. At once. Yes. At once. Without question, my lord. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you want? 
Goblins are besieging Fennastrunin, and they're probably not getting in. Well, we we can send you. We have completed an objective. Home. Okay, an excellent turn, well spent. Ah. Oh, this is their king. Gracious. <laughs> Already got their king. King Perth. What were you thinking? Frankly, your majesty... That was just very silly. Yeah, let's go for it again, see how much better it turns out this time. <sighs> nice. Hell yes. How are you suddenly this accurate? It has to be by accident somehow. Is this some kind of natural selection thing where only the stupid goblins got shot? Uh, what? Oh, fucking hell. Fine. Gurdinen. Not even a ranged unit. Dang, this is a very pretty settlement. Behold! The lawnmower blades. Do I need to tell you how stupid this weapon is? Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. No, no. There is some utility in a double-bladed sword, okay? It's not... The type of weapon you would really want to take to to war because you need two sheaths for it, and at that point, like, just a one-bladed weapon makes so much more sense. But the thing about these ones is that they are one-edged blades that are that are kind of curved, and they are reversed from each other. They the the edges face opposite sides. That is so ridiculous. Like, what are you? Is it a baton? Are you just gonna wade into the orcs, swirling it over your head, or like that? No, 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 no. If you're going to make a sword staff type weapon, make it a staff type weapon. Okay, the ed the edges need to face the same direction. Do I really need to get Shad Brooks on here? I I don't really want to be on speaking terms with a Mormon, but I will do it if that's what it takes. These elves think they're so quick. Well, they are, but they're on foot. Ah, now they've, they've caught up with us. <laughs> 
They know what's up. Wait, what? Perfect. If this is the day we get the, the cavalry siege, the run around and let them chase us... Have taken control of the castle. Siege where we cheese the, the timer. If this is the day that finally works... I'm gonna be so happy. Yeah, see, all, all you need is two cavalry units so that one can hold the square, right? So that one can hold the square. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Well, the other one distracts the, the enemy unit. Yeah, see, they're chasing us when they should be going for the square. That's that's him. That's their general. He's a he's alone. Okay. Yes, chase us. Ignore the town square. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings, does victory emerge? <laughs> ah, I was kind of hoping that we would be able that we would cheese the timer on that one. That would have been so great. But I'll take it. I will take this. Absolutely. With great pleasure. Uh, sack. Uh, sure. I don't mind if I do. Yeah, I, I know, I know, it was a big mistake. It was a huge mistake, actually, to occupy this place instead of sacking it or, or exterminate. I didn't want to destroy the mining complex, okay? This will give us public order. I see you finally left Erebor alone, Captain Thialfi. Thialfi. Captain Thialfi. I never understand why TH in some languages says T. Anyway, for some reason we are immensely wealthy again. Ah. Okay. Okay. I thought of a new cheese. And when I say new, I'm sure somebody else has thought of it already, but we're going to see if we can cheese the Avengers Guild a little bit here. We're going to spend three turns building it, and then while we spend five turns recruiting Orc Avengers, we're going to build something else. And then when we've recruited those Avengers, we're going to destroy it and build another one. So that way, we can get... A new unit of Orc Avengers every eight turns instead of every, what, 20? Something like that? It'll be glorious. The cheese will abound. No sleeping here! Get ready for fighting! Come on! Uh -huh. In another case where I should have exterminated. That's gonna be fun. Speaking of fun. Shut up to pieces! 
Is that what you want? Gondor. What? Huge city upgrade Gondor. That... That's a little weird. At any rate, Gondor or no Gondor, we cannot really push in there. It, it would be a very bad idea to attack this settlement. What we can do, however... No sleeping here! Get ready for fighting! ...is basically everything else. Just lay siege to it, and... No sleeping here! Get ready for fighting! Oh. Come on! It's a trap! Kill them yeah. all! Jump them to pieces! And wait for them... 13 turns? Ahem! Wait for them either to sally out or to starve to death. Orcs! Pick your feet up! No sleeping here! Get ready for fighting! Come on! Dwinburg no longer borders the enemy. Pick your feet up! We have completed an objective! And neither does Hosgobel. Okay, next time we are going to probably open on killing Beoint, and then, assuming that goes well, we'll probably take Ishlik up north and try and take out Haldir as well, because I don't enjoy having rebel doomstacks on any part of my now massive empire. Guys, how sexy is this map? This is an empire that can be seen from space. Kind of. Actually, I don't know if any orcs have ever gone to space in Middle-earth. But we're huge, okay? And we took a shit ton more territory in this episode. I think we took like four regions? That's gotta be some kind of record for us. We're doing pretty good! Oh, oh, um... Victory conditions. We have 38 out of the necessary 32 regions. All that is left in the 551 remaining turns is that we need to eliminate Erebor and Eredluin. But I am still planning on doing a lot more than that because I think it would be fun. I mean, we're on the verge of eliminating Lothlorien. We just did eliminate the Anduin Vale. And as usual, I want to fight Mordor. This could be the only time I ever fight Mordor in AGO, or the last time in a long time. So, of course I want to do that. Plus, how are we supposed to even reach Arid Luin if we don't fight Angmar? Come on. Come on! It'll be awesome, I'll see you then. Have fun, have a nice December. I think this is the first episode going up in December. Well, I'll see you next time, and until then, play well, my friends.